massive boxes that I believe are from Opolar. If you think the packaging looks a little strange, then yeah, you're right. I also think that there's just something, I don't know, just odd about the way it looks. It kind of looks as though it's just been, I don't know, like maybe packaged and then opened and then packaged again, if you know what I mean. So let's hope that that's not actually the case. Now, there's not really much space to open one of them if I leave them side by side like this. So I'm gonna have to take one off for now and then just open them one at a time. Okay, let's do this. So, which side should I get started on? Uh, let's do this side. What am I doing? Okay, I don't think I'm really actually having any rockets here because I can see the way the is just so very strange. Okay, alright, so there we go. Now I can see the lines a bit better than before. I could not. Okay, so there, there we go. Right, it's looking a bit more familiar now. There's that familiar or, or polar that I'm expecting to see. And here it is. So okay, I guess what happened is just that they decided to double box it rather than just sending this one alone because that would be a very bad idea. It's just the outer box looked, I don't know, just not very presentable, I suppose. Not that it's supposed to, but it just gave me some very suspicious vibes. Alright, so this is the first one. I'm gonna just move them off to the side. And now for the second one. Same deal. You know, they could have maybe gave, actually then again, I don't know, I guess too much wiggle room would cause it to shock and bounce a lot, so that's kind of why they made it so tight, but oh, wow. All right. Okay, so let's open this one and see how it looks. In good condition, or in good condition, or bad condition. It looks like it's going to be in good condition. You can see, black, you got that bubble wrap. Well, let me take something that close to the microphone so you can listen to that goodness. All right, that's enough of that. So, does it work? The breakdown here. Okay, let me leave it on the desk so I can get that 4K picture. All right, let's turn it over. I cannot fit entirely in the frame. Well, I'll say 99% of it is in the frame. Okay, wobble a bit. All right. 
Now let's get into the back. You can see those batteries. Let's take a closer look at those. And they are removable, which is a very, very good thing. Because some of these fans, they either have no battery, so they run solely on, uh, so they're solely dependent on USB or a direct machine to plug. Well, okay, I, 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 I do not even know the exact words of what I'm trying to say right now, but you know what I mean. So um, let's see if this works or if it needs to be charged. Sounds like it's working to me. Sounds like it's working just fine too. So that's setting two. This battery operated one only has two settings. Okay, that's enough of that. And let's see if it's other lower setting. So now when I point it directly at the camera, it's obviously not going to sound too good because smartphone microphones, it's with, with them, it's going to probably sound more like sound like that. Okay, so that's enough of that. Yeah, let's take a closer look. Uh, it's actually, eh, not going to get that close of a look without actually taking this off, which is something I do not feel like doing, I guess I can just take a picture there and put this on the side now. And now let's look through the books. No, I'm not gonna have to read everything obviously, just only the porch and stuff. I bet you I can just hold it like this and then you can read it for yourself. Is all of this even legible from this distance? Because you can kind of see through it on the other side, so I don't know how that's going to go, but yeah, you can see the different speeds, negative, the batteries it uses, its dimensions, the weight, what it's made of and all that, so some pretty handy information. I'm surprised they didn't tell me to take out the little plastic first before using it because, as you can just see, I was just using it, and I don't think I saw that little plastic there, no. So, hmm, actually, no, you know, let me take them out right now. Let me see if, if something... Never mind, these aren't exactly super easy to remove, but... Okay, that did not sound too good. But yeah, there was no little plastic, so it kind of does make you actually wonder if this was actually originally used. And then, in there, it looks... Kind of scratch, okay, maybe the, all right, you can kind of see when I point it like that, so. I mean, the fan looks otherwise really good, but it does beg the question, what, was this actually used? Hmm. I guess I'll never really know, eh? Okay. Off to the side you go. And now, let us open up the other one. I don't think I'm gonna have any use for this because I just use my anchor chargers. For some reason, I don't think that this one is better than no, I think this one's probably of a lower quality. But yeah, here you go telling us that, but there was no plastic. So for that reason, I don't think that one was entirely new because when I did do my first unboxing with one of those Gisky fans, you guys remember this guy? Yeah. Oh, by the way, it's still working too. So these fans are actually pretty high quality. I mean, well, it, it better be because when they're on sale, I think it runs between, uh, okay, I don't remember the exact price I paid for this one. I'm going to have to look at my Amazon purchases, and then I'll put the numbers on the screen so you can see right there how much it cost me. And then for the other black one, I'm bringing back in the frame. Put the number on the screen so I can show you how much, that, how much this one cost me. All right, now it's time 
to open up and reveal the surprise color. It should probably be pretty obvious which one it is. Right now. If you don't know, then we're going to Okay, do me a favor. If you're watching up to this point, which I really hope you are, use an emoji to describe your reaction to this. Because I know some of you are going to be like, gonna be like, Oh my gosh, you're mad. Where do you have a pink from? It's freaking me out so much. Well, you know what? I have something to say. Shut up. You're a loser. You have no friends. You suck. You stink. And you are in no position to tell me which color I can and cannot buy. So, uh, swallow that. <laughs> I dissed you good. Okay, so let's see if this one... Wait a second, did this one even have the... Oh yes, it did. It's right there. See, this one even has this card. Hold on a second, did the other one have that card? No, it did not. So I think this black one might have just been a return in good condition. I mean, if that is the case, it was just open box or something, then it probably should have gave me a slight discount, you know? This is the same thing. But yeah, this one even has this. So this one might be entirely new. I don't know. So okay. Of course, I remember advantages. You will get six months extended warranty. Win a free giveaway when new products release. Know about our exclusive offers. Once in a lifetime deals. And <laughs> Once in a lifetime deals. Wow. LOL. Way to get us hyped. Do I personally believe that? I do not know. So this is how you become a member, guys, if you're interested in joining the Opole Club. All right, so now let's open up this pink one and see what is inside. See, look at that. You see this? This one actually has those tabs. So this one is actually completely new. And you know what else I noticed? The batteries are green. With this one, the batteries are purple. Would you look at that? What is going on here? This is actually really interesting, and this is actually really, really interesting. I would like to know what exactly is up with this. In fact, I may end up asking them what the deal is with this one. Like, it looks perfectly good and all. I don't see no scratches or no dings or markings or whatever, aside from when you actually open it up, then you can see this. Okay, now let's compare the pink one. Okay, hardly visible because it's so... Okay, never mind, never mind. I guess the scratches is just... The way it's supposed to be is so I'm probably just being excessive about that. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so green, purple, tabs, no tabs. And yes, the blue one, it too also has... Okay, if you're wondering why I have put over this is because when I'm charging this overnight, this light becomes extremely bright. Like when I say bright, I mean bright like a morning star. Yes, I'm going that far. I am, because honestly, it does become that bright. Uh, wait a second, look at this, they're all different colors, okay. So this one is like a light purple, this one is like, mm, somewhere between pink and purple, and this one is green. I really wish I could fit all these guys, in. hold on, I'm gonna actually do it, let me see if I can make room. Alright, there we go. Wow. Just Wow. I honestly did not know that. Like, I, you would have expected all of these to just have the same color batteries and all that, but they do, okay, that is such an eyesore, isn't it? All right, there we go, there we go, that is so much better. Wow, you should not even have to look at that. But anyways, that's enough of staring at these batteries, so I'm gonna put them together now. Yeah, I'm doing it on purpose. Come on. Actually, wait. Go to take this out so we can test this. So, okay, we're gonna take this one out. Then we have to. Oh boy, this is not exactly easy to do, you know. You know, maybe I should just stop recording until I can get it out and then I'll start the camera again. Sounds like a good idea, right? Yeah. Okay, so I got the first one out, so I'm feeling pretty confident that I should be able to get this one out pretty quickly. 
If not, then I can just simply stop the... Did something just short itself? Okay, no. I'm not gonna split from this side. Or is that a bad idea? Oh, it's moving. There we go. Okay. You can get a close look at these batteries, the capacity that they use and all that. Like, I mean, I did just show you the specifications already in the video, so you already know, but hey, it's still pretty cool to see up close. Especially since I'm recording in 4K. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're not watching this in 4K, do make sure you hit up that gear and adjust it to the highest quality possible. Now, according to my statistics, it says that most people apparently watch my videos from mobile. I do not know how true that is. I mean, if that's true, once again, if you're watching at this point, please let me know if you're watching from a smartphone, if you're watching from a computer. Because if you are watching from a smartphone, then you're going to have that slight disadvantage and you will not be able to enjoy these in 4K. But that said, chances are you will at least get to enjoy it in quad HD since most smartphones do have that resolution, which it's still look pretty good. I mean, not the absolute best, but still really sharp. Okay, um, where am I supposed to point these? Let's see, this says, uh, no. Wow, be careful there, just bounce this thing. All right, so this is the positive side. Okay, so I should go there. Yeah, I know, this video is very long, but so I should give a bit. Can I ask why this sounds like it has a drone inside of it? Especially when I adjust it like this. Yeah, it sounds like it has a drone inside of it, man. Alright, let's see what happens in the highest setting. Okay, so in the highest setting, you do not really hear the drone. But in the lower setting now... That does not sound right. Actually, no, you know what? Mm, I'm not saying it sounds bad, but... Uh, uh, um, okay, maybe it is bad. Alright, now let me let you make you listen to this one so you can... Hear the difference. This is the one that I had for, uh, I'm not sure how long, I'm just gonna put a number of years right over it since I do not remember. But yeah, you, you see, you hear that? Silence. Or almost silence. All right, now you point it away from the microphone now. And now let's make this one run at the same time and see if you can hear the drone over it. Yeah, that sounds kind of haunting. Like, I mean, maybe that'd be cool for, I don't know, a composition, I guess, but under normal usage, I do not know. I really do not. I can't say anything because I just do not know. All right. So, okay, I think this video has already been far longer than it needs to be, but you know what? It just ended up being surprising in a number of ways, like with this one possibly being an open box, but nonetheless good condition, the batteries being different colors, this one having a drone inside of it, or maybe I don't know if I just included the batteries. You know, what's one thing I did not test is if they could charge well or not, or if the charger is broken, but I'm not going to do that on camera because I really feel like that to be overkill at this point, so to end this video... Gonna try and fit all these in the frame. 
And for those of you that have managed to watch all the way up to this point, let me know which of these cards you like the most. If you ask me, it's probably very obvious it's this one. And I suspect that most people will either say this one or likely this one. I think this one's going to get the least amount of love. But am I wrong? Who knows? The only way I would know is if you do what you see on the screen right now. In regards to commenting, liking, rating, sharing, visiting the crazy Twitter page, reading the blog, shopping the affiliate links, and ray, 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 ray. You, you, should, you should know already. You should know. Unless you're the type of person that just quits halfway or even quarter way into the video. All right. That's enough. I bought these directly from Opolar, not Amazon like how I usually do. But yes, you can still get them on Amazon. It's just that... On Amazon, I don't think they had this color when I was looking to get more of them, so that's why I just decided to shop directly from Opolar. What's the difference between shopping directly from Amazon or Opolar? Well, mm, I don't know. Just do a price comparison. I don't think the experience will necessarily be any better or any worse. I guess I should actually talk about that for a little bit before I call it quits because some people were saying that this company is bad, but they wanted to sponsor or whatever, so that it kind of did make me. I was a little skeptical at first, but I just remember my own experience for the first time was like I never had problems with them. And thankfully, my second time with them proved to be very good. You see the fans here as a witness, you see this video, so they are still currently a good company. I don't know if they're going to keep that record, but at least at this time they are. And if any of my Polar is watching this video, please remain a good company. Don't turn into a shyster, because nobody likes shysters. It makes people just want to throw scat in their face. And you know, you don't want to be that type of business. Ah.